Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. I should be drinking wine, but because I've been drinking a lot of wine, I'm drinking some water. Now, probably the piece de la resistance of all the gear that I was reviewing and checking out is of course something to carry all the gear. I love bags, and this thing is no exception. The Split Adventure 38 liter. Now, I do have bags that are bigger, but this one's more versatile, and I'll take versatility over size, especially when you're traveling. So many things to like about this. The zippers have a great feel to them. This front section, lots of organizational opportunities, iPhone charge cables, my headphone cables, all of that just right there. There's actually slots for pins. You do still need pins these days. This is a completely padded and uh, soft cotton if you've got like a tablet or something. I think I ended up putting my journal in there. Emo moment. And this goes down to about there on the front here. Also behind here are straps that pull out. Come on, strap. Because the kind is kind of like uh, ski, sports, snowboard, all that. This strap here, you could put your skateboard here. Not a surfboard, that's crazy. Or anything else like a jacket. And this comes across, click, click. That's the front pocket. That, that's what got me interested. What sold me was the back. A lot of times if you have a bag that also holds a laptop, great idea, the laptop has to go in the front. Now the problem with that is when you pull the top closed and you try to zip it up, you're now almost flexing or bending, you're pushing against your laptop, that's no good. So, if you put it in the back, which they have done, then you know it's always gonna be flat. Also, they say this is TSA compliant, so you can put your bag down, unzip it, and let it go through like this. Most TSA people I've dealt with are like, it's gotta be out of the bag. This back here, really well padded, vents really well. So that was a big seller for me as well. Of course, you got your um, sides here for water bottles. Open so easily, these zipper pulls are great. On the inside, there's more pillows so that it looked poofy. Right as you open up on the inside, you have a section here, you can put toiletries, uh, you can put something that's a little bit thin because it's also backing up against what you've been storing here. So there's not a ton of space in there. And here, a little bit of a larger compartment. I ended up putting a compression bag in here. Got some shirts and then kind of zipped those closed. On the interior here, not a whole lot to talk about, but there's a nice little uh, kind of bungee strap to hold everything down. The bag itself is very light. A lot of times you get a bag and it's like, you know, they're, they're telling you, oh, it's rugged, it's durable, it's gonna last forever. It weighs 10 pounds with nothing in it. Handle at the top. Now, I will say, one gripe I have with this is I wish there was a handle on the side. I've got a pack safe bag that has that and I've come to really love that feature. So, love this. Just, I would give up a water container. I would give up one of these if I could have uh, a handle on the side. Now, it looks good. This is the Rincon or Rincon colorway. The others, like your favorite pop star, are all sold out. All right, there you go. Big fan of the Split Adventure 38 liter. Like I said, of course, there are bigger backpacks out there that can carry more of your stuff and still count as a carry-on, but I like the versatility, and versatility wins, especially when you're traveling overseas. Voila! There you go, merci beaucoup for watching my video. And of course, I've got a ton of other stuff that I'm gonna be posting. Make sure you're following on Instagram. Bon chance, bon souhait, bisous, chanson, voilà. That's not real. All right, have an awesome day.